So what's up guys? I am back at the uh, Bayou Vista area up under the bridge at the moment. Current seems to be pretty strong. Um, I'm gonna fish this area for a little while. So last time I came here, I got, uh, I tried launching in the mud, no bueno. <laughs> but I think this time it's gonna be a little better. I launched on the boat launch like I always do because I have a trailer set up for that. Um, it went smooth, it went great. I actually kind of like this area. It seems a little protected. Uh, oh, sorry. It seems a little protected from wind because the wind is kind of kicking today. But I'm going to go back down. I'm, I'm going to fish this area for a minute, try it out, I think, to see if I get any bites. But uh, my plan is to go back down where I was at before because that seemed to be where all the fish were. So stay tuned. So. Sorry if this is shaky. I've heard that if you see a slick on the water, that's uh, possibly where fish are feeding on, a, on bait. And that's the oil churning. So there's a long slick on this outside edge. I'm gonna give that a shot. Uh, the bridge was no bueno. <laughs> uh, I'm out in the middle of, I'm on the south side of the Highway 6. Wait, yeah, south side. Um, little update, I don't know if you remember when I made the last video, I got sunburned. I wore my sunscreen this time, so my wife is watching. I'm good. And I brought my buff. If the sun does decide to come out some, um, I'll be good. But last time I got sunburned, it wasn't that sunny. It was actually cloudy, but it, it burned me up. Um, an update on the anchor pole. I had that contraption to wind it up. It was a dive reel. Um, hold on, I'm trolling behind me. But uh, I had a dive reel, but that thing made so much noise. It. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I last time I fished here. Um, I would spook fish just letting the anchor pole down. So I went back to the original design. I put a cleat, a yak gadget. I can't really show it to you at the moment, but I put a yak gadget cleat. Uh, oh, there's a wake right here beside me. And I'm just using the the uh, paracord that John, that uh, yak, ga ugh, yak gadget, I'm sorry, yak attack cleat. Yak gadget sends the, uh, paracord with it for you to uh, pull it up and down right, let's see speaking of which I'm gonna drop it right now it's so much quieter so much quieter If you can see the grass flats over there, I'm gonna go hit that. There's birds on it feeding, so there's something happening.
I'm trying to hold on. So anyway, I had an anchor, I went under the bridge without dropping my anchor pole down. Last time I was here, I was able to fit under it and the pressure pushing down from the top almost flipped me over. Um, luckily I was close enough to the pilots to get a good grip with my paddle and keep me from flipping on over. Heart attack. I learned things the hard way. I did it last time I was here. I, I lowered it to go under it and I just forgot. I wasn't really thinking. Hey. Paddling against the wind. Sucks. Just had a problem with my motor today. <laughs> Pick up. Probably just to call this done. Fish my way back. I was trying to get to the mouth. But... It's, uh, I think I hit the water at like 10 o'clock. It'll be 3 o'clock by the time I get back to the launch. It's five hours. Kind of over it at the moment. Temperature's dropping. I got skunked. People were catching fish with live bait. I didn't see uh, a whole lot of artificial happening. Everybody's using shrimp. Got a front coming in. So I've been chasing birds and man, every I haven't seen any much sign at all. Um, nothing crazy. I've seen some guys that caught some pretty good size uh, flounder. So it was happening for some, not for me. <laughs> uh, appreciate you watching like and subscribe if you're interested in watching more uh, I know I've been doing a lot of fishing videos lately that's not all I do on my channel it's, it's kind of more of a vlog I just get busy and I don't pull out the cameras so uh, this channel really is just to document my life and what I'm doing sharing it with my family and 
maybe one day when I'm gone, I'll give my family a little comfort to know that I love them enough to think of them this way, to document what I do and my personality and all my dumb little traits. <laughs> Uh, all my dumb little mistakes and maybe it'll teach them something one day maybe it'll teach them that it's okay to make mistakes as long as you're trying it's okay to get skunked fishing as long as you're trying uh, yeah peace out guys later